Hey, how goes it? My name is Parker. I am a motion graphics designer, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a slideshow in Adobe After Effects. Now, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. Um, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way, and then also a more uh, intricate, you know, stylish way of doing it if you have some more time. Um, so first, we'll do the sort of rough and dirty way so that you can get it out of the way. Uh, so I've got a blank project open here. Um, I can import either going File, Import, File, Apple I, as you see. I can right click in my project, or the way I like it, I just double click in my project window and it brings up the Import File dialog box. Okay, so now I've got uh, these six images that I shot down at the beach. Um, and what I could do is just bring these in and now that I've got them all selected here in my project window, I can just drag them right into my Make Comp button, and that's gonna make a new composition. Before it does, it's gonna show me this new composition from Selection dialog box. Now, I want a single composition, one slideshow, and I want the dimensions from the first one, even though they're actually all the same. But if you have a couple of different dimensions, you're gonna wanna see either which one's the widest or if you know, the majority of them are all portraits and vertical, you're gonna wanna select whichever dimension that is. Um, down here, I've got still duration. Right now it's at four seconds. And yeah, I'm gonna make that five. Next, uh, add, render to, add to render queue. Uh, this would be if you know that you're really gonna rush through and uh, you want it to render immediately after creating the composition. That's if you've really got everything set up, um, but uh, you don't really need to add it right away. Um, I do, however, wanna sequence the layers. That's gonna basically skip a step instead of me going through and telling it to then sequence the layers after, it can do it right here from the dialog box. Pretty nice. Um, and I do want them to overlap. A nice thing about slideshows is they're usually dissolving from one to the other. Um, and I'm gonna have that dissolve here be the one second that they've already got in there. And transition, you could either turn it off, you can dissolve the front layer, or you can dissolve both front and back. I'm gonna leave it just on front layer and hit OK. Okay, so now I've got a new composition um, with the dimensions of the first photo. And as you can see here, they're all nicely sequenced. Um, and the duration of the composition uh, matches as per you know, the settings that I just put in. So right now I've pretty much already got a slideshow. It's ready to go. I can you know, scrub through here to make sure that uh, you know, I like the transitions uh, between the photos, et cetera. But um, yeah, had I checked that add to render queue box, I could, be, uh, you know, I could be rendering this movie out already. Okay, so that's the quick, dirty way to do it. It's gonna get it all done in a GIF. Let's 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 take out the other way. So if I'm just gonna delete everything here and start from blank, I'm gonna import the same photos. Now what I'm gonna do instead of dragging them into this new composition box, I'm actually going to um, drag just one of them so that it matches those uh, file size uh, dimensions and everything. And then I'm gonna drag the rest of them in below here. And what I can do is actually drop them down like that, hit the left bracket button to get them to go all to where my cursor is, and then I'm gonna drag them all out to the end here. So now I've got everything is, in this case, 10 seconds long. Um, you know, these are settings that you can actually change very quickly. So if I wanted everything to be back to the four seconds in one shebang, I can go to the four second mark, uh, hit Apple A or select all, and then what I'm gonna do is hit Command Shift D, which is gonna basically cut all of the layers right at that four second mark, and then I'm gonna hit delete. Now everything is four seconds, pretty quick. Okay, so the theory here is that I can create a number of effects like that cross dissolve and a couple of other things um, onto the first one and then apply it down the line. So let's do that. So I'm gonna hit T for opacity, then I'm gonna hold shift and hit S for scale and uh, P for position, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is actually select all again by hitting Apple A and click the little 3D box. So what that's gonna do is on my position, it's gonna add that Z dimension so that I can actually, mm, fuck, that's not what I wanna do. Uh, 
Okay, so now they're all four seconds long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some effects and some changes uh, to the first one and then copy them down. So the first one I'm gonna hit uh, T for opacity. Then I'm also gonna hit, sh while holding shift, I'm gonna hit S for scale and um, P for position. Okay, so now um, I've got these three parameters open and I am going to start with um, opacity. So now if it's at 100%, it's at I'm just gonna zoom in here. And let's say over the first second, it comes up to that 100%. So I'm just gonna move that keyframe over. And then in the first moment, we'll be at zero. Now we're gonna see the other photo here underneath it now, but eventually we're gonna sequence them all like we did in that first instance. So that'll be black underneath that. So in the first second, it'll go up from black to 100% opacity. And then over the whole duration, I wanna do a nice scale. So I'm just gonna zoom this back out. And I'm gonna start at 100% scale so that it takes up the whole composition window. And then at four seconds here, I'm going to bump it up to say 135. So now we've got a nice sort of forward push. And if you wanted to tweak this at all, um, say if you wanted them all to be scaling up but um, going left to right so that the whole slideshow feels like it's going one way, that's where we're going to use our position. So I'm going to turn on position here in the center. And I'm going to do this last because you'll notice that you're going to be limited by that scale function. So now at the end, what I'll do is actually I'm going to bump back a frame to see how much leeway I have because I can see that square. And then I'm just going to shift, actually I'm going to make them up, let's all, let's all go the other way. I'm going to hold shift and then push it to the right. So now I'm starting here, it's scaling up and that left side is going to stay right on the left side of the composition. Now since I bumped over that one frame, I'm going to need to fix that and make sure it's right at the end. Okay, so now I've got these three parameters and I want to apply them to the rest of my images. So I'm going to do select all those keyframes, hit Apple C or edit copy. Then I'm going to select the rest of my images, make sure that my timeline scrubber here is at the beginning because wherever I have that, if I were to hit paste at two seconds, it's going to paste those first keyframes starting at two seconds and going forward. But I want them to be in the very front. So pull it to the front, Apple V or edit paste, and now those parameters are pasted to all my images. Okay, and you can actually see because now it's black, you know, so it's, um, that opacity is coming into play, and, um, and now all those effects, if I toggle down here, you'll see have been added as keyframes. Okay, great, so now what I'm gonna do as a last step here is select all, and in order to sequence the layers very quickly, instead of doing it manually and, and nudging them all down, I'm just going to go up here to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, Sequence Layers. So this is pretty similar to what we saw in that first dialog. Uh, I'm going to overlap it for one second, and I'm going to have the transition be the dissolve front layer. I'm going to say OK, and now all those um, excuse me, all those uh, all those images are now um, sequenced across the board, but my composition settings aren't long enough. I only have 10 seconds in this case, so I'm going to hit Apple K or go up to Composition Settings, and I'm going to change that to, I don't know, let's, let's guess at uh, 4 seconds times 6, 24, so let's say 30 seconds to be safe. Hit OK, and now my composition is going to be just a bit longer than that last one. So I can go down and find where that last end frame is. Do a quick opacity change on this last image by hitting T, creating a 100% keyframe there. And then at the very end, I'm going to have it fade out to zero. And now I see I'm at 19 seconds is when the overlap and all that math worked out to. Um, so I'm just going to hit Apple K again, make it 19 seconds. Say OK, and now my slideshow is the correct time for all my photos in sequence. Great.
Okay, so that's a quick and easy way. Now you can see that you've got those different effects. You can apply a number of different ones if you want to. Um, so, you know, play around with it, play with some different effects and some keyframes, you know, apply them across the board and end up with your own slideshow. All right, my name is Parker. I hope you learned something. Send any requests that you've got to requests at mahalo.com. Have a good one.